Hi everyone, Alfred here from the Expert Center Garden Rune and today we're gonna have a little bit of discussion on timing chains on our vehicles. So there's quite a couple of components on the timing chain. You've got your plastic guide that actually makes sure that your timing chain runs in the correct positions where they need to be. We've got a couple of gears, this is for the crank pulley. And then you've got on the camshafts as well, but then there's a whole other bunch that sits in the engine block, like your balancer shafts and your oil pump also runs from one of these. Then we've got a couple of different tensioners. These are spring-loaded tensioners. And here's another spring-loaded tensioner for the oil pump. And then for your main timing chain, this is a oil pressurized tensioner. Issues with this is if your oil pressure is low, your timing is not gonna be in, in its marks and you can have issues with that. You can also have oil pressure lights if this fails. If it fails, you've got a problem because your valves and your pistons, everything needs to work in harmony. It needs to open and close, moves up and down on the right time. So if it's out, it is a problem. So on this specific vehicle, your timing chain runs your cams. Your cams is what runs on your rockers and your lifters that makes sure that the valves open and closes on the right times. On this specific camshaft, there's electronic valves that helps with the opening and closing of the valves itself as well. So the electronic valves on this specific engine helps to open the valves a little bit bigger to let the exhaust gases go out a bit faster. Um, that's the basic function of this. If it's not all in sync or in harmony, valves and pistons that meets up together normally doesn't end well.